Hi, I'm John Peters, and I just finished building this desk for my art studio. Now, this is basically an improvement on the old standby of a piece of plywood on two filing cabinets. And what I did to improve it is I added this little cabinet on the end of the desk. And what I'm using that for is storage for paintings, specifically uh, the size 8x10. The upper shelf I'm using for computer paper and art books and more art books down below. Uh, another really cool thing about this desk is this drawer. And I'll bring the camera closer so you can get a look inside it. Now this is one of the coolest things about this desk and that is having this organized drawer where all of my tools now have a home because I don't know how much time I've wasted over the years looking around for a tape measure or a staple gun or a pair of pliers. Now everything is in its own space and I should really have no problem finding them anymore. And another nice thing is because of the dividers you can open the drawer, open and close the drawer several times and you don't end up with a big mess in the drawer. I designed the cabinet at the end of the desk to be 12 inches deep. I had thought about going the entire depth all the way back to the filing cabinet, but I decided I wanted this space between the back of the end cabinet and the side of the filing cabinet to store more paintings. And I can store up to three paintings now in this space here with just a little cardboard in between. Also, I found that shelves that are deeper than 12 inches generally waste space because most of your books aren't any deeper than 12 inches. The cabinet on the end of the desk I designed to store artwork and specifically my smaller paintings and so I've got a couple small paintings in here with a piece of cardboard in between each painting. Now the top shelf here isn't going to work good for storing artwork but it is good for storing your computer paper and also um, more art books and things like that. The top of the desk is made of rock maple and it's actually my old workbench. I did take um, some time and sand it down a little bit and put a few coats of urethane on and I think that makes it nice, but not too nice. You can still see uh, the history of it being an old workbench. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed this uh, short look inside my studio. If you think you want to build a desk like this for your own studio or have one built for you, there are links at the end of the video where I show how to build a cabinet at the end and also build the drawer. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.